Hi, this is Dr. Richard Downs with Sleep Balance Academy and Dr. Sleep Show. You've heard me talk about the INAP before. This is the INAP. And this is the tube that goes in the mouth. This has a negative suction. In other words, it pulls the tongue forward and the soft pout forward, opening the airway. It doesn't have positive pressure like the CPAP does. It forces air into your nostrils and your mouth. Now, I've talked about this. It's FDA cleared for all severities of sleep apnea. But I wanted to show you something today that I made to make it more effective. And that is, I've made a little mouth guard. And this is a fairly firm mouth guard. It's very thin. It doesn't cover the teeth very far. As a matter of fact, it just barely covers the front of the teeth. It covers, all you need to cover is the first six to eight teeth. You can see it's very light. What it does is it seals the air from going between your teeth that might cause the negative suction to not work as well. In other words, there's no air sucking between the teeth and decreasing the negative air pressure. And two, if you have any loose teeth, like some people with gum disease, uh, it will keep them from moving with the pressure pulling in on the sides of your cheek and on, on your lip and keeps your teeth from moving out of place. So this improves the efficiency of the INAP. And also, uh, this device should be made by a dentist for you. This will help you improve the performance of your INAP. Thank you very much.